Smart display campaigns offer a simple solution to managing the complex variables of display advertising. This campaign type uses Google's machine learning capabilities to help you broaden your customer base and win new conversions. All that's required is a target cost per acquisition, campaign budget, and creative assets. To successfully run a smart display campaign, you must use conversion tracking and meet the conversion-based eligibility requirements. Conversions can be sourced from a Google Ads or Google Analytics tag. It's important to determine how your smart display campaign will impact other campaigns running in your account. If you're new to the display network, you can still use smart display to manage all of your display advertising by expanding to new customers and engaging returning customers. If you're currently running campaigns on the display network, gradually consolidate your smart display campaign with existing display campaigns. This provides the algorithm with more data points so that it can learn to develop patterns. That being said, if you'd prefer to run your existing display campaigns alongside your smart display campaign, you can still do so. Before creating the campaign, determine how much a conversion is worth to you. If you've been running display campaigns focused on finding new customers and are now launching a smart display campaign, start with a target CPA bid that's on par with the average CPA of your existing campaigns for the same product or service. If the only campaigns you've been running on the display network are remarketing, start with a target CPA that's 20 to 30% higher than the average CPA of your remarketing campaigns. If you've never advertised on the Google Display Network before, start with a target CPA that is at least 200% higher than your average CPA of your search campaigns. Keep in mind that your average CPA for Smart Display will be higher than a traditional Display Network remarketing campaign. This is because Smart Display campaigns re-engage existing customers while also reaching new customers. If your initial target CPA is too low, your campaign won't have the flexibility to meet its full potential during the learning period. Let's get started. On the page menu on the left side of the interface, click Campaigns and then click the blue plus button to select a new campaign. Select a campaign goal or create a campaign without a goal's guidance. For whichever goal you select, choose Display as the campaign type and then Smart Display as the campaign subtype. Here you'll note the option to enter your website's URL. This is an optional functionality that will pull images or logos from your landing page. Alternatively, you can later upload specific images during the ad group creation. Continue through the campaign setup by entering a campaign name, and choosing locations and languages to reach. You'll now select the campaign's automated bid strategy by focusing either on conversions or conversion value. Selecting conversions will utilize a target CPA bid strategy. You then have the option to pay every time someone clicks on your ad or every time a conversion occurs. Selecting conversion value will utilize a target ROAS bid strategy. Since this bid strategy is based on conversion values rather than conversions, you'll pay each time someone clicks on an ad. Next, you'll enter the campaign's daily budget. Set a daily budget of at least two times your target CPA. You now have the base structure of the campaign and can create your first ad group. You should create separate ad groups for each product or service that you're advertising. If you sell multiple products, focus on important product groups when creating ad groups. At this stage, you'll provide individual assets, headlines, descriptions, images, and a logo. The machine learning model will generate and test each possible combination of your assets to find the best performing creatives and most relevant ads for your customers. Make sure these individual assets can be paired interchangeably with one another. Best practice is to add five short headlines, five descriptions, five marketing images, and one logo. By adding more headlines, descriptions, and images, Smart Display campaigns build smarter ad combinations that are customized to your audience. Lastly, click Create Campaign. Smart Display campaigns are automated campaigns that can take time to scale and stabilize, depending on the number of conversions that you're getting. In order for the system to learn to drive performance, 
it needs enough data to determine what's driving conversions. For example, the device or time of day. This learning period can take between two to four weeks. During this time, limit the changes made to your campaign or landing pages until the learning period is over. For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out the Google Ads tutorial on the Google Ads YouTube channel. If you have any questions or for more information, please visit Google Ads Help.